My name is Leticia Ursati. I am the Vice President of Clinical Development and Medical Affairs of Beringer Ingelheim in the US. I have been working in interstitial lung diseases for 10 years now, and I am a medical doctor as a background. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF, is a progressive disease in the lungs. It's devastating. It's basically fibrosis that get worse over time. Patients with pulmonary fibrosis have symptoms like breathlessness, dyspnea, cough. It's a rare disease and the risk factors are known, but the actual cause in IPF is unknown. Prevalence um, is variable across the world and it's an area of high unmet need. Patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis are currently managed in the US and they have two available therapies. And patients with progressive pulmonary fibrosis currently have one available therapy for their management. Nerandomlast is an investigational compound, is an orally administered preferential inhibitor of the PD4B enzyme, and it's being investigated in patients with IPF and PPF. The Fibronear program included two phase three studies, one study in patients with IPF, another study with patients with progressive pulmonary fibrosis. The two studies included more than 1,100 patients each and had a global participation and included patients from the US and investigated two doses of Neurondomlast, nine milligram, 18 milligram compared to placebo in patients with and without background therapy, which is very unique. The results of the Fibronear studies show that for both studies, Neurondomlast met the primary endpoint, which is change from baseline in lung function measured by the force vital capacity at 52 weeks for both the IPF study and the study Fibronia ILD in patients with PPF. So this is the results for the efficacy endpoint. We also have the key secondary endpoint, which is a composite endpoint that included time to the first acute exacerbations, respiratory-related hospitalizations or death. The key composite endpoint was not met in the trials. The results were neutral in both trials. However, for the ILD study, there was a nominally numerical difference in time to death for patients that were taking the random last in both the 9 milligram and the 18 milligram dose. In terms of safety, the safety and adverse events, we had compar comparable discontinuations of Neurondome last, both 9 and 18 to placebo in both studies, and a favorable uh, adverse event profile. With the results of the two Fibronear studies, uh, the company is now in communications with regulatory authorities worldwide, including the FDA. We have filed for a new drug application. We have received priority review, which is something that made us very excited about. The next step is to wait to see the final outcome of those collaborations and the assessment from the FDA, which uh, is expected by the fourth quarter of 2025. I would like to say that the results of those studies made Beringer very proud. And I want to personally say thanks to all the patients their loved ones, their caregivers that gave their blood, their time, their lung function to make those results possible. And also to all the investigators, this is an accomplishment of all of us. It takes a village to move the science forward. And this is my time to say thank you.